Okay, this question for Battis, Battis Tuda, right? You're looking for some, just some solid uh, strength training, weight training advice. Um, so I'm gonna give you some three examples that are gonna help you, right? I wanna, these three examples, I want my, I wanna focus on things that are effortless, right? And things that are gonna help you, right? And with a little bit of investment of time or energy to create maximal, maximal returns, right? So, um, the first is, right, the first thing that changed my life is um, this rope, right? So this is an RMT rope. This one's a little thicker, but it doesn't matter the thickness. Um, you wanna go to your local hardware store and, and get and find some soft rope, and you want it to be as long as you are tall, Right, so I'm 5'9", so this is about a six foot, maybe a seven foot rope, but you can tie knots if it's a little longer, but go longer, right? If they say they can't cut it in, do half half feet, then you wanna go a little bit longer. So let's say you're 5'9", five, five, uh, five or 5'10", five go six foot. If you're 6'4", if you're 6'4", or 6'5", or 6'6", six, six, go seven feet, right? You kinda wanna go a little bit longer than you're tall, because you can always knot it down and be the right length. The reason why you want to learn this rope flow is because um, because there's a rhythm to the game of soccer and there's a rhythm to the game of life. And what this rope flow will allow you to do is um, synchronize your body from head to toe, right? It acts like a, metro a metronome. And a metronome is a tool that helps musicians, musicians keep a tempo so by just starting to swing around and start to learn some different movement patterns, um, it's going to it's going to improve your running technique. It's going to improve your balance. It's going to improve your awareness. I noticed that my that it improved my juggling, and after it improved my juggling, it improved my my passing, my shooting, my ball striking. Basically, everything everything improved on and off the field as I started to master different rope flow patterns. And you start to learn some pit simple patterns and then you start stacking patterns on top of each other and just turns into a fun, into a moving meditation, right? Just a fun warm up and you're bending and twisting your spine. It's just, it's hard to describe the feeling, but once you feel it, you'll know. Um, and right, like this is coming from someone who used to not only, not only have I trained with one of the top five strength coaches uh, in the United States who passed away last year, um, right? I used to squat. I used to squat upwards of 400 plus pounds. I used to leg press, leg press uh, 10 plates. Right. Um, this is coming from a, a weight, almost a gym, like a meat, uh, like a gym rat. I used to be a gym rat, to be honest. And now I've realized, right, I used to walk around, I thought, I thought if, I, if I went to work and I carried 100 pounds of weight on a weight vest, that would improve my soccer game, right? I've made so, countless mistakes in weight training per, and thinking that it would translate to improve my soccer game. And this, this rope, right, these ropes, these ropes are the tool that are really going to create long-term positive results because they make you, they improve your running technique, they improve your balance, they improve your rhythm, they improve your awareness of your body, and you just start to move like a ninja on the field, right? You're moving, gonna move like a friggin', like a, like water. You're gonna start moving like water. That's what it's gonna do. So um, this is the first thing you wanna check out. You could also, uh, Check out David Weck, W-E-C-K, and then just type in R-M-T, Rope Flow. David Weck says, if you could only learn one pattern, it's the alternating underhand sneak. And it looks simple, but it's a little bit challenging. It took me two days to learn. And the way you learn is, first you go underhand, right? Underhand swing, then you take your opposing hand, and at first, first you grab your elbow, then you grab your wrist, then you grab both ropes on one side, 
and then you alternate, right? Swing in the sides here, right? First, then you're swinging here, and then from here you you say this pattern out loud. You go wings wide, pick a side. So you go wings wide, pick a side. Wings wide, pick the other side, right? Wings wide, pick a side. Wings wide, pick the other side. It took me two days to master, so if you don't get it in the beginning, um, that's okay, right? You're not supposed to get it quickly. It's a little bit challenging, and that's for a good reason. Um, so get yourself a little bit length of rope. You could order one online, but it, I think it's, um, it's more fun if you make your own, right? I got some, just some electrical tape. You could use duct tape. Uh, you could even use two, two shoestrings tied together. It doesn't really matter what you use as long as you start um, just swinging it around and that's where that beauty is. You don't even need to know any patterns. You just start swinging around and moving. That's all it is. So this thing is going to change your life. So that's the thing you want to invest a little bit of time into. The alternating underhand sneak. That's for soccer players. Um, the second thing that you can, that you want to invest in is in terms of uh, weight training, and uh, that's gonna directly apply to soccer. Um, most, most soccer players' warm-ups are poor, right? Most soccer players' warm-ups are poor. It took me, it took me 20 plus years. I'm 10 plus years out, out of playing D1 college soccer, and I'm only, and I'm only coming to a point where I feel confident enough to share uh, some warm-up routines with you that are that have been tested you know that have been that have been tested by um, hundreds and thousands of people right you want to check out three different warm-up routines you want to check out loco locomotion search locomotion plus uh, or beginner locomotion Ido portal or Ido por portal portal p-o-r-t-a-l you want to check out Dmitry Klokov, K L O K O V warm up, his 2014 warm up. And then you want to check out uh, any Muay Thai warm up is, you know, from between two to five minutes long. Muay Thai has, gets you, right, lots of kicks. And um, soccer is full body. So Muay Thai, I found super transferable warm up to soccer. And if you combine those three warm-ups, you are gonna look um, like you're ready to play soccer. I'll tell you what. So check those three warm-ups out, and when you combine it with this RMT rope as a warm-up, you're gonna be moving good, friend. Um, the last thing I wanna recommend, uh, what do we got, what do we got? Strength training, you want strength. Well, I'll give you two. Um, if you're someone who likes to go to the gym or even if you like working out at home, there's an ab exercise. It's called the torture twist. And the torture twist is uh, from a book called Underground Secrets to Running Faster, right? This book is written by Barry Ross. And if you search underground or if you search torture twist, on YouTube, you'll find many different variations. You kind of want to learn every single variation so you could do it at the gym, you could do it at home, you could do it at the park. This is the one abdominal exercise that I wish I knew as a youth player, as a freshman in high school, as a freshman in college, as a senior in college, right? It took me way too long to find this exercise. So this is something that you could do every single day, right? It, it's a static, it's not something that's gonna put mass on you to make you slower. It's something gonna, that's gonna make you strong in your core and it's gonna make help you run faster and it's gonna make it so that you're not wasting any energy created from your, from your legs. It's gonna help your obliques get very strong so that you can transfer um, all the power that you're generating. So it's gonna help you not waste energy from your, that you're creating. So it's gonna help you connect Right, your your upper body and your lower body with strong obliques so that you can run fast. The last thing I'll share with you, I mean, this rope flow is a game changer. All those warm ups are a game changer. The last thing I'll share is for strength training. What's effortless? Zayani. 
Ziani seven postures. If you search Ziani, Z I A N I, say seven postures. This guy, he's 49 years old. He dunks. He can still dunk on a 10 foot hoop, right? He's probably he's probably one of the most athletic 49 year olds in the entire world. Um, you don't see 49 year olds dunking on a 40, on a 10 foot hoop these days, especially not. You know, that's a feat of uh, athleticism. It really is. So check out his book. And if even not his book, just check out his YouTube videos. He's got hundreds of hours of YouTube videos. Check out Ziani Seven Postures. And I'll give you a close, a close third or fourth. Ben Patrick, knees over toes guy. He's shown, uh, right, he's someone who doesn't just talk the talk. He went, he went from going from, they told him that he'd never play basketball again, and now he's, he dunks on a 10-foot hoop. His knee mobility and strength and flexibility are unreal, and he can, and the, the beauty of his program is that he can articulate specific exercises that you can replicate, and even starting with nothing, right? His book, uh, uh, Knee Ability Zero, which is a great book, simple, simple book, well-written, teaches you to go from f from uh, uh, having zero knee ability, mobility and strength to going to, um, you, you, you know, simple strategies and routines to really improve your, not just knee health, but overall health and wellness. So I hope some of those ideas help. And uh, right, these are things that I would have died to know as a youth player. So uh, reach out with any more questions and thank you for your time. All right.